Hey, I white balanced all of the cameras for Hal, timed all of tomorrow's segments for Phil, got Simon's research done. <sighs> now for Chicago's work. <sighs> oh, I need to get home. Perfect, just what I need. Actually, I'm a corporate headhunter. Dark alley headhunters, huh? The outfit wasn't my idea. Focus groups. I work for someone who wants to speak with you. Who? Hello? Hello, Miss Kovac. It's Victoria Lafayette from The Victoria Show. Woo! I'm calling to offer you a job. What? Senior producer on my show. <laughs> Great, thank you. <gasps> Potential client. The Victoria Show? Wow! Nobody's perfect. Get off the scale. You've got the world by the tail. In control. On a roll, you're a producer. See? You're in charge and life's really swell. Oh, no man, but hey, what the hell? Life's full of stress. Nevertheless, you're a producer. You had to work your butt off, but you, you don't regret it. Now you win, you're in there with the full screen credit. Yeah, your saw's rising, oh, now you can bet. So grab a lot and get to the set. You've got a staff and a last laugh, keeping it loose. You're the producer! Kick it, Parker! He left me his incredibly dangerous novelty card, but... But what? <laughs> hey! -ya! The Victoria Show is the number one talk show in the country. <laughs> and did you see yesterday's show? I PVR'd it. <laughs> Just for you. Welcome back. Nice. To Victoria's big home giveaway. See what I did there? Now, as you all know, sometimes it's hard to reach those most in need. Hidden in faraway villages and remote desert ranges. That's why we're taking today's home giveaway up in the air. Okay, boys, let's do some giving. Mama, is that an angel? Yes, baby, it is. You know, with that kind of budget, I can only imagine what your salary would be. I can't just pack up and leave. Dee's totally dependent on me. Plus, Blake just gave me that raise a few months ago. That doesn't mean he's ready to ditch his supermodel girlfriend and whisk you away to his castle in the countryside. Hmm. What do you mean? Listen, I'm just saying, maybe it's time to, you know, to think of yourself. <laughs> Um, and buy a new coffee table? Today on D. The Power of Selfishness by Will Powers! Yeah! Today I'm joined by financial guru and best selling author of The Power of Selfishness, Will Powers. Tell us, Will, 
How does the power of selfishness work? D, my philosophy is very simple. Just put yourself first. Compassion, charity, these petty ideas get in the way of achieving true wealth and success. So, does this mean that you're wealthy and successful? Very. I have over a hundred vacation Ooh. homes and more designer labels in my closet than a South American dictator's wife. Love the gold shoes. Sure, some people will call me a materialistic prick. Prick. But I say, if you don't treat yourself like number one, the rest of the world will treat you like number two. <gasps> D, are you all right? Oh, uh, no. Yes, it's just... Oh, I've never heard someone express my own feelings so well. Mwah! You're getting married? But you just met him. Isn't this a little fast? I'm not like you, Parker. I need a companion. And by that, I mean a man, not a dog. Anyway, I think it's obvious that this month's segment should be about the wedding. Will thinks it's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Exploiting media connections to get freebies is an important tenet of the power of selfishness. Right after registering yourself as a charity, but before turning your daughter into a sexy pop star. But we're competing with Victoria's big giveaway week. Won't this come off as shameless money grubbing? Don't you get it? We're giving wedding retailers the opportunity to be part of our wedding. Chop, chop, glamour puss. It's almost noon. I want to ransack the crew catering before the staff get all the goodies. Darling! You're wicked. Mwah, mwah. This guy spells big trouble. Oh, and Chicago. I'm hoping you can be my maid of honor. Yay! I'm sorry, Parker, you understand. It's just aesthetics. Oh. I have bigger boobies. <laughs> okay, I got the singer, the champagne, and the seven dwarfs. Sign, please. Simon, can you write some meaningful wedding vows for Dee? As copywriter, I don't do wedding vows. That's considered reality TV. Union rules. Please, I need help here. It's your segment. And who was up all night last week helping you on yours? <laughs> Sorry, Simon, but I still don't think alien chic is the right fashion advice for our viewers. Trust me, you look so incredibly hot. Mm. I totally saved your ass on that one. What are you saying, Miss High and Mighty? That I couldn't do a story without you? No, it it's, it's just that... You're on your own on this one. Simon! Oh! Hello, oh. Parker. You look lovely today. Just checking in on Dee's wedding. Hey, look, Blake. It's your girlfriend. W where? Here on the cover of Bucking Bride. Really? Supermodel Chantelle Delaroche definitely sees marriage in the near future. I didn't think she was that serious. Well, I guess it is food for thought, you know? <laughs> Where's my chocolate? I need chocolate! Who got my chocolate? Oh, Parker, stop thinking about yourself for once and help me pick one of these fabulous Vita Wang wedding dresses. Dee, I need to be alone right now. And I need chocolate! Where is it? Have a bite of this yummy creme brulee strapless. It's edible. Oh, my star. Oh, I like the African queen model. Aren't the blood diamonds divine? For rings, I'm thinking something from the bling barn, but they're being difficult. Can you talk to them? Dee, I have better things to do with my time than hustle freebies for you, okay? Fine, I'll just put it on Will's credit card. Wasn't it nice of him to give it to me? <laughs> now, what do you think of the white leather? Comes with its own whip. You know what, D? White dress, blue dress, no dress. Who gives a crap? All you people do is take, take, take! And I'm sick of it! Hey, Parky. Any more of that yummy chocolate kicking around? <gasps> Maxie! Victoria? Hello, Miss Kovac. I'm in. Here at the Victoria Show, we believe in creating a positive working environment. Wow! There's everything an employee could ask for. Spa, chefs, chiropractors, astrologers, 
and even massage therapists. What's that? Oh, a little e-tech project. We use the energy from the gym to power the whole building and a nearby hospital. <laughs> Faster, dear. Think of the ICU patients. <laughs> And now, the most important stop on the tour. <gasps> Don't y'all just love the mural? <laughs> I designed it myself. Wow! You have a great office. Oh, you're such a pill! This is your office! <gasps> what? That's my office. I am on the move so much, I don't need anything fancy. Here, a little prep for today's team meeting. 1130 Conference Room A. her to check in. Hello? Simon, it's Parker. You won't believe how great things are at the Victoria Show. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Yes, you are. How are things going? Oh, it's, it's great. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Dee is just totally relaxed and, and cool. Simon! Where are you? Uh, can, can you hold on a sec? I told you I wanted my dwarves to be four feet tall. This one's four one. Ah, shit! And I want a castle honeymoon in Scotland, but I want Scotland towed closer to North America. And what about doing the actual ceremony in the Garden of Eden? Okay, uh, castle and a biblical location of disputable existence. Yep, I got it. And I want the Pope to marry us. But you're not Catholic. Don't give me that lip, Simon. We've got two more days to pull this together, and you are walking on very thin ice. Ah! Shit, shit, shit! Yeah, being the D-show producer is way easier than I thought. <laughs> Simon, that better be the Pope you're talking to! Wait, is that Parker? That little wench. If I get my hands on her, I'm gonna wring her friggin' neck! Uh, Parker, I gotta call you back. <laughs> no more talking to that traitor. <laughs> now, get this dwarf off my head! Oh. My. God. Is that a hot tub? As your senior producer, I've already come up with a few ideas for this week. First of all, I was thinking with a platform as great as the Victoria Show, why not take world hunger head on? That's a good thought, Parker, but we're already on it with our next Victoria's Global Soup Bowl. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, maybe I can throw a few other ideas your way. Uh, ideas? Parker, did you read the Victoria Show manifesto that I left with you? Uh, y yes? Mm-hmm. Then you would know that idea generating is something the executive senior producers do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Senior producers just carry out the ideas. That way, no one gets overworked. Senior producers? You are one of a team. They're all over there. And those are the executive senior producers. Oh. But we do have something important for you to do. Yes, absolutely. We'd like you oh, to choose the noodle. <laughs> the noodle? I know. I know, girl. Holler. Yes, for the soup. It's a big decision, so take your time. Massimo, I'm home. You know, uh, oh gosh, uh, hey, Park. Uh, just entertaining the guys. Uh, okay, that's it, boys. Uh, time to cash out. Let's go. Come on, chop, chop. Here we go. What are you doing home so early? You won't replace the wine, I swear. And your underwear drawer was already open. <laughs> So, uh, how was your first day? Did you knock their socks off? Did you save the world? Do any world saving? <laughs> I chose a noodle. That sounds exciting. And? And that's it. Uh-oh. Same time tomorrow. Not really sure yet. So, will you always be coming home so early? From now on? Parker, Parker! Great choice on the noodle. Gluten-free, non-dairy, buckwheat, covers all allergies. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Enjoy. I hate noodles. Will? Will Powers? Shh, shh, shh. Don't give me away. Don't you think this is taking the power of selfishness a little too far? Why? It's free. Yeah, I for poor it. people. Not a multi-billionaire. Hey, that's discrimination. Give that back. Stop that seemingly homeless man! Stop! 
Parker, what are you doing? Wait! <laughs> Parker, get down here! Will, you get back here! This food is for people who really need it! Just give me the soup, Will. Never! Mm, good noodle. Could use more gluten, though. I think he's drowning. I'll go in. No, please, let me. Nonsense, nonsense, I'll go. Ah, I'm always prepared in a crisis. Help! Rescue the shoes! The shoes! <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll go. No. Ah! Ah! My goodness, I am heartbroken over today's events. I only have myself to blame and, well, a former member of my staff who's since been relieved of duty. And speaking of relief, speaking of relief, care packages are now being sent downstream on tiny little boats to the soup flood victims. That woman is a saint. I should say so. No. Um, I don't know why you can't just go back to the D show. Right. Like D is going to come knocking on my door, begging for my help. Parker, are you there? D? Open up. I need your help. Parker, I'm so glad you're here. D, what's wrong? It's just too small. Uh, what? Gross. <laughs> oh. Very gross. Ooh. Well, he does wear gold shoes. That's got overcompensation written all over it. Oh, what am I going to do, Parker? I don't know. Be creative. Get some toys. Toys? What the hell are you talking about? Dee, when you marry for money, maybe you don't get to be so picky about the size of the equipment. What? Oh, that's not what's too small. It's my wedding ring. See? That's the biggest diamond I've ever seen. I know. I picked it myself. But it doesn't fit. Sheesh. It's no big deal. Just get it resized. <gasps> oh, Parker, you're a genius. Just like me when I got the idea to send Will over to that soup kitchen. Ugh, you sabotaged my job. Oh, Parker, don't be mad. It's my wedding day. Now, any ideas how to boost my ratings? Oh, please, I need your help. The wedding show is tanking. Hmm. Okay. So, Will, listen. Here's what I say. Happy D means a good show, and that's all I care about. That was out. I can't believe it. My little girl is all grown up. Oh. Russell! Let me go. Darling, please. Catch. Dearly beloved, friends, live studio audience. Hal's doing the ceremony? Oh, yeah, turns out he's an ordained minister. Or Satanist. More importantly, he's free. See? You can do some things without me. Yeah. <laughs> Never leave me again. <laughs> now, D, uh, repeat after me. Play Satan in all his dark majesty. Oops. Ah, uh, wrong incantation. Uh, I mean, bows. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> I, D, take thee will to be my husband, to have and to hold, for richer or for poorer. Huh? How much poorer? Let's skip that one. We do. Oh, cool. You may now kiss the bride. Oh, while I have your attention, here's the bill for my ring. Sign, please. I used your credit card. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great. Will! Are you okay? He's... dead. <laughs> oh, Dee, I'm so sorry about Will. I... Oh! I, uh, uh... I'm just working through my grief. 
I think I'm almost at acceptance. <gasps> I don't know about you, but I'm ready to party. You coming to the reception? Dee, isn't it bad form to have your wedding reception with your husband's corpse cooling <laughs> in a body bag? I'm not going to let some dead groom ruin the fun. It's time to celebrate. Our ratings are through the roof. I don't know what you did, but it worked. Nice performance. Thanks, Will. Thank you, Parker. Faking my own death means I can avoid paying taxes forever. <laughs> I'm just a hobo, a wealthy hobo. And good riddance. <laughs>